Hi, this is Anu and you are watching Anna for Nurses. Today we are going to discuss the last topic from thyroid that's a mixed edema coma. I hope you remember about hyperthyroidism, its complication the thyroid storm, hypothyroidism and now mixed edema coma. Remember mixed edema and mixed edema coma are two different conditions. Mixed edema is when a patient is not taking thyroid replacement or due to some other reason the dose was not adequate or some other reason there's constantly low thyroid hormone level for a prolonged period of time leading to a condition called mixed edema but mixed edema coma is when you have hypothyroidism and you're you're facing some illness or some infections or some other problems then you will be having severely decreased level of thyroid hormone level leading to some complications that's very life threatening and that is mixed edema coma let's see why this is happening mixed edema coma mainly you can see among elderly women and as i already mentioned any endocrine problem and they are facing some surgery or some illness or other stress they will be facing the crisis of that endocrine problem here in hypothyroidism patient when they have some infection especially you know from elderly and all urinary tract infections are very common and some respiratory infections or some mi or heart failure stroke all these things can make them at risk for mixed edema coma and some drugs such as lithium or amiodarone also will cause the low level of thyroid and some drugs or like sedatives or tranquilizers and if they are not taking the drugs on time which drugs the thyroid replacement that they are not taking and it's like constantly it's low and this can lead to mixed edema coma suddenly they are stopping the drug can lead to mixed edema coma or they are using prolonged iodine or after the thyroidectomy they are not taking the replacement these are the main reasons for mixed edema coma in hypothyroid patient and how they will be manifested as already just you remember about the hypothyroid features just like that hypothermia but severe hypothermia you know when the temperature is very low most of the vital organs won't function properly perfusions will come down and bradypnea this can lead to respiratory failure these patients might require et intubation they might be in ventilator or tracheostomy so keep this in mind this is a major complication of mixed edema coma and that's very important for your exam that's a respiratory failure and if in hyperthyroidism this tachycardia hypertension and can all occur then in hypothyroidism and mixed edema coma it's high bradycardia and hypotension these patients will be very tired and drowsy and hyponatremia remember in mixed edema coma anti diuretic hormone level will goes up like saidh and it can lead to hyponatremia you know water will be retained and can lead to hyponatremia then you know this thyroid hormones are metabolic hormones so the metabolism is not happening properly when the levels are low can definitely lead to hypoglycemia this is another important area the nurse should notice the respiratory status and the sugar level then swelling in mixed edema we studied this periorbital edema and tissue swelling usually it is non pitting edema is commonly seen among them and the swelling also we will be like like orange peel waxy skin appearance and this is also an important feature of this how is the management and what are the nurses responsibility you know when there is a very low level of thyroid hormone you just have to give iv hormone replacement that's a major one but here respiratory failure is an important complication immediately you need to monitor the vital signs and address to the respiratory problem or you you have to solve that first and meanwhile you will be starting iv fluids iv hormone replacement and patient will be having hypoglycemia you need to give glucose and this iv ho iv hormones can have some side effects like this can cause decreased corticosteroids level so whenever you see this mixed edema management you can see along with the iv thyroid hormones corticosteroids will be given the reason is 
IV thyroid hormones will decrease corticosteroids level. So this has to be given. And patient will be having severe cold. Give warm blanket. That's all guys. Steady myxedema coma. With that we are completing thyroid. We will be moving on to the next part. Pancreas and its condition in the next video. Till then take